What's going on YouTube? It's Victor 554 bringing a YouTube video of a, a, a discussion video actually about the next ban list for September 1st, 2010 um, limited list for the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, this is just pretty much like my predictions based on what I've been seeing on the mini game and stuff like that so if you guys have questions about why I chose these, why I think these cards are going to get hit hard just comment below or message me in the corner so yeah here we go. Um, if you got any other opinions about car what cards should be limited or banned, tell me, and I'll d definitely take into consideration. And I actually would wouldn't mind actually hearing your thoughts as well. So here we go. Oh, getting a little uncomfortable here. Um, the first card here, it, these two cards here actually are are banned cards. So the first card I really think is going to get banned. Next one, which people have been hate, been throwing a lot of hate out on this card because you can just top that top that this card and just win the game is bring a troll. Um, I love this card actually. I really do love this card, but only because I can top deck this card and win the game. That's the only main reason why. I love this card so much that I just completely use it in every deck. Even though some decks don't even require it, I still play it. Um, you can, you, the reason why this should also be banned is because you, you can just take your opponent's monster, synchro with it, tribute them, or attack with them for game. It's such a great card. It, I don't know why they even keep it in the game. I mean, why would you keep, I mean, why would you keep Snatch Steel? Huh? It's that's the same thing, like Snatch Deal, you know. Except your opponent doesn't gain life points, you know. Yeah. Why don't you just bring back Snatch Deal? Yeah. So okay, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, a little weird there. Um, my next card I should be banned is Cold Wave. Um, pe I've been actually considering hearing a lot hit um trash about this card. I don't really see what the big point is, but I might as well put it in my video because a lot of people want this card banned because you can just play this card and you just keep you just go obscenely ab aggressive on the field, blow up the field, make your opponent not be able to activate anything, stuff like that. Your opponent can't stop you from attacking your life points or setting up your whole field. So no torrential, no familiar force, no brain control, blah blah blah. You're pretty much set when you play this card. That's pretty much part of the reason why, but whatever. Next card here um, is Substitute. Um, Substitute should be limited to one, actually. This is my limited pile right here. This big pile here. That was my semi limited. The limited, um, this should be limited because your chances of drawing this then when you, it's limited will be much slimmer. Also, it will make, make people play one for one more often and stuff like that. Um, but also, it could makes, makes a possibility of you going obscenely crazy with the, the tribute and stuff like that, giving frogs in the graveyard and go for game. It's just, cr it's just, lim just like, just stopped right there. And plus, drawing it in your chances of you getting your monster taken control by brain control or tributed by soul exchange. This card's actually really broken in soul exchange. I mean, I can believe it. I can just play soul exchange, tribute your monster, and just keep going at blah, 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 like crazy on the field with my, your tributed monster. So that's pretty much where I want this limited because make the soul exchange tech broke not so broken in as much. Um, the other card here, which I don't have actually, sad face, is a uh, mass driver. Um, even if you have substitute at one and one for one at one, you can still play the mass driver deck. So my the FT Frog FTK. So might as well limit to the the mass driver as well. So you do. So you, the other there's no other decks can actually make the make mass driver broken. Um, cause there's some decks over in Japan, I think, that actually have Mass Driver in it besides a Frog deck. So I really think that Mass Driver should lim be limited, just like Magical Explosion was limited, so it can prevent it from being broken, blah blah like that. The next card here is based on X Sabers, is X Saber Fultron. I rather X Saber Fultron should be limited, because it says here, two, while you control two or more X, face up X Saber monsters, you can special summon this card. And it's, tw I don't know if you can see it, but it's a 24 hitter. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you want this limited? And plus, when you special summon this card, you can special summon the X Saber from your graveyard. Right? Yeah, X Saber, one level four or lower. So, why would you want that on the f at three? That's just too broken right now. And let's see. Uh, go along with this card, uh, I don't have it either. It's Dark Soul. Dark Soul will be limited because it's like playing three Sangans for X Sabers. It's like playing three Sangans, for God's sake. Why would you want to play three Sangans? I mean, these two should be limited because it makes the deck more controlling, more slower, and, and not so great. You know, people have been abusing this deck so much, it's just crazy. I mean, why would you... I mean, you're playing it out, you're pretty much waste making it play, played out, so... Whatever. The next card here is going to actually affect a lot of the decks nowadays, if it gets limited. I mean, 
Why is it? Why? Wait, why was it even here anyway? Never mind. Th this is what I've been thinking actually on this card. I was just supposed to put up here. Sorry. Um, this also should be like banned, I think, because. But I also thought it would be limited to stay at one too, because it's not because it helps other decks too. It helps X Sabers. If if you limit these guys, it'll make this deck not so broken, and it helps it helps out the X Sabers a lot because they have a lot of beasts that are level three, the level three or or lower. So, you make the deck more controlling and stuff like that. Also, Gladibees play this card too, so why get rid of a card that actually helps Gladibees? You know, Gladibees are much slower nowadays, and they need some, they still need all the support they can get. The Prisma Tech is terrible nowadays, so yeah. Um, the next two cards here are the, um, from the Inferni decks, actually, because they've been going to go well with this, this deck, but not as great, you know? The next card is Inferno Launcher. Yes, Inferno Launcher obviously is going to get limited to one, so it doesn't make the whole deck completely broken, so you don't have to keep doing the cycle over and over again, get a full field of synchros and attack for game. Th with this at one, it will just make the deck more, more conservative, more um, controlling, and just more not so OTK-ish or luxaki ish you know? On the next card here, they do limit this, but... This is just my prediction, I think, is Inferni Archfiend. With Inferni Archfiend at 1, you prevent him from actually searching for this card or Barrier so easily. And plus, if you, de if you DD Crow this one card, the whole deck's screwed. That's pretty much the whole reason why I wanted the 1, because it, it screws up the whole deck then. Just, if you DD Crow that one card, or bottomless it. If you limit this and make this at stale 3, and your opponent DD Crows this, the whole deck's screwed. But I really think it's going to get down to one because it's such a broken searcher. It's an 1800 hitter, and it can be stretched spun really easily with no cards in hand. So there. Uh, the next card here. Let me look at it first. I'm not sure what it is. Okay. Next card here. Actually, if you limit this at one, this also affects the Inferno stuff. This card here. If you limit this at one, you should keep this at two. This is my semi-limited pile. If you keep this at two, and leave that one, it makes the deck not so OTK-ish as well. Um, the reason why this should be at a two, at two, because if you limit this at one, people most likely will just seduce down to playing three of these, because it's the monster version of Inferno Launcher. So why wouldn't you want to limit that to two? Semi limit that two. Um, it prevents them from getting from ulti you right away. That's why. Um, also, you can get this out really easily with, with um, the the um, what's it called? The Inferno Archfiend. And also one for one, so that's the reason why I want. I would think this go down to two because people will most likely play three of these if this goes down to t just down to one. So three, this, this go down to two, so that'll be good. The next card here is I think they're gonna bring back from the lim from the limited section before, or yeah, the limited section since now people will have access to it really easily, and it gives more another option for our deck. And if you guys don't like what I chose, just don't. Don't hate on me. Just listen to my reasonings. Is Destiny Draw. I really think that Destiny Draw should come back at just a 2. With coming back at 2, it makes it more of a controlling Destiny Hero deck. People are playing are going to play more of a... more of a, This whole deck... This whole format supposed... Next format supposed to be more of a variety decks and stuff like that. With the Natural Beast and stuff. Um, Destiny Draw at, at 2 would make it more of another option to play another draw card. Uh, we need more draw power in this whole this whole format, I really think. But if they don't they don't they don't do anything for draw power, they should just bring this back at two. Allure two, which is way too good. This you have to play a specific monster and this gives you another option of a mo kind of monster that you should that people can play. Um, another thing about Rescue Cats, um, over in Japan they got this weird deck called the the um what's it called? The secret this this the symbols Symbols cat whatever it focuses on basically bringing out a level two normal beast pipe monster, tributing it with falling down, which takes control, which 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 says um if you have a, a normal monster on your side of the field you lose the monster. It, it's pretty much like a snatch deal if you have a face up um um normal monster. It makes a deck broken. So rest catch should probably stay at one or get banned. I don't know. Uh, if you guys got any questions or, or any suggestions or want to talk about the ban list with me, go right ahead. Either comment below or message me up top. I'll see you guys later soon. I hope to bring you guys another video. Peace.